Hello, and welcome to Tangent. I'm Ethan Leaf. Ooh! And I'm Brandon Nilsley. I For some reason, I paused there because I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> for me to say what? Your name. I, I got confused. Oh, <laughs> Um, Anyway, if you haven't listened to this podcast before, uh, the whole point is that we get a random word or phrase, and then we discuss said word or phrase, seeing whatever tangents we may go on. As always, you can find us on places, uh, on all places you can listen to Tangent. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is everywhere except for Podchaser. Podchaser. Why do they still hate us? I I don't know. I feel like, look, we're seven episodes in now. You know, cuts of slack. Maybe it'll be like episode 10. Maybe they've got to wait to verify us, you know, <laughs> fully till like the 10th episode. And then they'll yeah. be like, all right, all right, fine. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, you can find us on all podcasting platforms, except for Podchaser. Um, and you can find all other platforms at tangent.buzzsprout.com. And if you'd like to submit your own prompts or suggestions, you can do so by emailing tangentpodcastideas at gmail.com or... Follow us on Instagram at going <laughs> underscore honor underscore tangent and send us a message there. Uh, no capitals at all because that one was taken. Yes. <laughs> and, and and also uh, it's underscore honor all one word. Yeah, because we spelled it the cool way because we're cool. Exactly. Memorable. Memorable. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, it's it's been a while. I mean, I... I it it feels like it's definitely been a while. Yeah. Um, for, but for... also, it hasn't been because we said that last episode as well. Yes, yes. Um, so we have uh, updated. This This episode might feel a bit different. Um, it might feel a bit more candid because we've updated the way that we are uh, doing Tangent. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, we're trying to find some places uh, that we can hopefully lower the the time it takes for editing because this is part of what the bottleneck was previously um so hopefully 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 yes um anyway how are you doing brandon oh what well, this i think this is the first time you've ever asked me first even <laughs> that's seven episodes that's what it took. I, I i took special note did you <laughs> is it written down somewhere <laughs> ask brandon how he is <laughs> um i um yeah, I'm doing anyway, good, I'm actually. pretty good. Um, ah, thanks, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. Go on. No, yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, nothing special to report, really. Um, uh, things of note that's happened to me recently. Um, uh, I, the, uh, con- honest to God, I haven't had a lot happen to me in the last week. I've been literally working nonstop. But uh, I had sent in an audition tape. Well, the, the audition, the the. Video audition, whatever thing, to our mates who are doing that 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 uh, film project, the pilot project. Oh yes, um, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure how much we can say about it. To be honest, no, I'm not going to say a lot. I was just saying that's the only yes. thing of note that's happened to me <laughs> in the last month. So, I've, yeah. Just to clarify, we're not actually under NDA. It's nothing exciting like that. We're just trying to be nice to our friend. <laughs> What what do you mean? Wait, I, what do you mean by that? Well, as, as in, you know, it's not like we're under NDA and it's like, ooh. Oh no no yeah no we just well, we just don't want to say too much in case in case it all goes belly up or if it becomes a smash hit success. Do you want some surprise? You know what I mean? Exactly exactly. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Brandon. I actually um, forgot about that, uh, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make the deadline. When is the deadline today? tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow is it no 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 it's not it's the end of the month isn't it the end of the month is two days yeah i'm packing fine. tomorrow and then i'm flying out tomorrow to the czech republic look dude i believe me believe you me i i think you could smash it out within an allotted time frame <laughs> what uh, no uh, what? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the first time we've ever done that <laughs> at the same time yeah so. um anyway, <laughs> anyway. I, I i think it's just the prompt time oh um, prompt time yes yes today's prompt is the big old mouth of a basking shark the big old mouth of a basking shark wow yep. And wow. that's from uh, our friend Lauren, who sent us a response to our poll on Instagram. Uh, once again, if you're not following already, you can follow us on at going underscore on a underscore tangent and uh, send us a message if you, if you want to submit a prompt. Or not. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. Don't worry about but it. If you want <laughs> to. Yeah, go for it. We might feature you. You never know. We might even reply. Probably not. No, probably not. I don't even reply to my friends, but who knows? <laughs> anyway, big old mouth of a basking shark, Ethan. What do you know about fishing? What do I know about fishing? That is a good question. Well, uh, just what do you know about sharks and basking sharks in general? Well, I know a catfish is, is a shark and also a basking shark, whilst it has a huge mouth, uh, its throat is only about the size of a golf ball because it's... it's um, uh, it's. Yeah, it's evolved yeah. for for swallowing plankton. Mm. Um, I actually I had a a game that I I haven't found again to this day. Um, and and if someone if someone uh, knows what this game is or remembers, please send us a message because <laughs> I I want to remember what this game that's, is. That's that's a message on going underscore on a underscore tangent. Our Instagram profile where you can also send us a prompt. <laughs> anyway right, we'll stop now. yeah we'll, we'll stop trying to plug it um but do follow it um <laughs> please you're not a fake fan if you don't anyway yeah. what are you saying uh, game so i uh, yeah so i uh, there's a a wii game um i forgot what it was called but is it, this a fishing game no it was oh. a diving game oh and i remember because my favorite creature not the same thing but it was a whale shark why was that your favorite creature ethan because they're huge <laughs> they're big and i remember that you could go on a journey with it you could like um dive up to it and then you could grab on and you just you just go around the basking shark go around the hang map on, hang on in this game you can dive up yeah how does that work you go upwards whilst whilst you're if you're in deeper water brandon and you go yeah. up that's yeah. called diving upwards i I refuse to believe it's called diving upwards. I think it's called swimming upwards. <laughs> I don't think it's called d- diving upwards. Hang on, I'm going to search, can you dive upwards? <laughs> Please tell me it's just going to be like, you swim. No, it, it just says, it. everything is just saying ascending. Uh, you ascend upwards. I mean, okay. Like, well, that's boring. So but... you ascend up to the basking shark. <laughs> okay, yeah, All right, fine. <laughs> yeah, you don't dive upwards. Um, oh shit! Whale shark. Whoa! Ethan died. Sorry, Ethan died. <laughs> Everybody, I'm now hosting the podcast on my own. Oh, okay, I'm back. I'm. Uh... Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, my house just collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually sitting outside now. <laughs> That was fast. Fucking hell. Yeah, it was, it was uh, very fast. I had a dream that my house collapsed the other day. No, you didn't. Yes, no, I you did. Didn't. Did you say this? Did you say those words just so, so you could segue into this dream? No, I have ADHD. I just <laughs> remembered the dream because I said those words. The house I, was I really you. wobbly. And I was like, it's not supposed to do that. And we had a house cleaner and he was like, your house isn't supposed to do that. So I kept trying to leave the house, but no one else would leave the house. So I felt bad about leaving everybody because there was a party going on. So I went, you know what, fuck it. I'll just re- I'll just risk the house collapsing on me and I'll go and sit in the party. And and then it died. But yeah. Oh, wow. You have some strange dreams, man. You have, yes. some, you have some weird dreams. Like, I don't remember any of my dreams ever. Do you know like, no, not one. Not one of my dreams. Oh, I, I, that's not true. I remember one vivid one I had constantly when I was 10, and that was the <laughs> the dream of dying, but being conscious that I've died, and so just being cremated alive. That was fun. Um, that's when I first discovered death 
as a you know as a concept uh but that's the only dream i I think that might be why i don't dream anymore my brain literally went okay (laughs) no more is this what it's going to do to you that's horrific <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to bring the mood down well, no I just like for your <laughs> for you to be a 10 year old and thinking about that I feel so sorry for you uh, I mean it, it only happened for like a week and then now I'm fine look at me perfectly yeah. normal and adjusted well I mean so every everyone does dream you know regardless of whether you remember your dream or not because that's actually the thing you know when you're in REM your brain is dreaming but it's about whether your brain then categorizes that into memory or goes, nah, nah, don't need it. Yeah, I just think my brain doesn't like any of the dreams I come up with. <laughs> Do you believe dreams have meaning? Like, not um, not in a prophetic sense, but in a, like a... In a pathetic sense? Yes. Um, n- no, yes and no. Like, I understand the whole... I I think they are reflections of our surface subconscious thoughts Hmm. at the time of sleep however i don't think they mean something deep and internal that you can only figure out through no i don't think it's that i but i do think they reflect you know current life events and because yeah if you're struggling with like a real life choice you have to make or whatever oftentimes or not you'll dream about that choice or that or something similar to that in order for your brain to try and make it make sense. Because your brain's working when it's dreaming, isn't it? It's not resting completely. It's still trying to do its job. So, I don't know. Yes and no is my answer to that, which I know is a very good answer to a question. But, you know. Well, I, I do think it's, I mean, it's quite interesting. I do think it's a good answer because, I, I mean, I I mostly, yeah, I agree with that. I, I do think that they're, you know, looking at your at your subconscious sometimes can help you figure out, you know, things that you've been struggling with. Like I've, I've, when looking at my own dreams, realized that I've been struggling with things because often it's presented in a more abstracted form than mm-hmm. the the challenge or problem that you're facing. So I've, I've found that I've, I've had quite a bit where I've been like, oh, actually now I realize there's this problem that I was having that I didn't think I was having before, you know? So sorry, your 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 dreams discover problems you weren't aware of before. Well, well, I mean, like they can get to the root. Like I can feel like I'm struggling, and I can get to the root of going, oh, okay, this is actually the reason because I've you know I've looked at what, how my brain's interpreting my dreams because sometimes you know, I, I guess through the abstraction there can come some real uh, cognizant representations. Though also there are loads in your dream where I'm pretty sure they're just dumb shit that your brain kind of, you oh. know, it's like it's like a filler episode. Uh-huh. It's a bowel episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the idea of sometimes your dreams are like really serious and they have such a deep meaning. And other times, forget the meaning. You're just a baby riding a unicycle. Don't worry about the meaning. You're just, you're just being silly. Oh yeah, completely. Because I've had dreams... Uh, one of my, the two dreams I can remember the most easily was like, I had a dream where I went on an entire journey, um, running away from these like spirit demons that would try and take you through circular doorways and steal your soul when you, when you went through them. And I spent like... Circular doorways meaning the revolving doors? No, no, just anything circular, like an archway or like something like that has kind of like that circle to it. So I spent the entire dream trying to figure out what was considered an archway to try and avoid <laughs> these demons taking my soul. Uh, and then other <laughs> dreams I have, uh, I had one where um, I, I realized I was dreaming and then everyone in my dream turned against me. Uh, and I had a flying llama um, called, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but I remember I could summon <laughs> it by saying the words anti up. Uh, except it couldn't fly very well. It was very unreliable. If your llama wasn't called Carl, then it wasn't called the correct name. Carl. Carl. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't ever do that again. (laughs) 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 Fucking, you're going to, you're going to have an awful time editing that because there's, 
you're either gonna have to cut cut that out or, or like lower it to nothing um headphone users gone beware yeah that, that's like all of our audience because the only people that listen to podcasts wear headphones so at this point we've lost um everyone from nicaragua <laughs> uh everyone <laughs> um, have you got a list uh, Who's no? I'm just remembering uh, everyone who's infertile, uh, everyone oh, from yeah. the uh, coastal city of Chroma, uh, everyone with <laughs> headphones. Who did we lose the last couple of episodes? Oh, we've lost cavemen. We did lose ca- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chrome Magnum. Fuck him. Um, what was I saying? Who? Oh, I was saying, isn't that isn't that uh, a name for like? A genre, a genre, a genre of caveman. No, like uh, one of the cavemen. It was Nick Cron- Cronum Magnum or something like that. <laughs> I, genre, I, my, what's your favorite genre of cavemen? Mine's Homo erectus. <laughs> uh, hang on. They died because Cron- they couldn't rotate their wrists. I don't, is that is that really true? Yeah, yeah. That was that was part of Homo erectus. Um, that they had Cro-Magnons. Yeah. So I was saying it wrong, but Cro Magnons were a type of early human. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck you for making me feel like I was stupid. I, I wasn't saying you were wrong. I just never heard of it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. So what? Anyway, they really died out because they couldn't rotate their wrists. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that it just it just made them inoptimal. Sorry, in like, like God's checking off his off his list, and he's like, "Nah, that that version's subpar. We're gonna need an upgrade." <laughs> that's inoptimal. That's the that's the uh that's the Intel i three. That's not that's the. Oh my God! Call back to two episodes ago. Call back to two. I could do memory as well, mate. Oh my God! Um, that's like um uh toe socks. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was basically saying that the the llama thing, the car was a deep cut, deep as a deep internet cut along the same lines as like DHMIS, I think. So only mm. some of our audience will get the car reference. Yes, although since since the series, I think "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared" has come a lot more into the mainstream. But has it though? See, uh, you say that, but I think the only people that watched the series were the same people that watched the YouTube uh, series. I don't think I don't think it garnered more audience because everyone well, that watched it would either think, "Oh, it's a kids' show because it's puppets," and then their kids would watch it and they'd be like, "Oh my god, it's not a kids' show," and or they and then they'd be like, "This is weird," or people would watch it by accident and be like, "I don't. This is freaky." I mean, my my parents. Came. They hadn't watched the original before they watched the show. But then again, I also went, "Hey, you guys should watch this uh, deliberately because I knew it freaked them out." <laughs> well, tell you saying that the series is not as scary as the YouTube version. No, because my mum, my mum went back and watched the YouTube version, and she she actually quite enjoyed the series, and she hated the YouTube version. Yeah, the YouTube version is terrifying. Every episode mm-hmm. is just terrifying. But, you know, if you stick through it and you look at all the theories online, there's a whole through line and a whole story and clues throughout the whole thing. So, I mean, I don't I don't mean for this to go out to become a DHMIS, by the way, which stands for Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, for all those people that don't know what this, the, the short term is. Didn't mean for it to turn into an advert, but uh, you're welcome. Sorry, I just, I just did a sick burp in my mouth. <laughs> 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 I've eaten a lot of food today. My sister has been running um a, a youth nature day at our house that I've been helping run out with and we had a lot of food. Although I I did I picked a whole bunch of the sour cherries off my sour cherry tree and made some sour cherry juice which was actually really nice. I thought you meant sick but as in cool as in like wicked. Like I, I thought you were like I did a sick burp in my mouth. 
<laughs> like you were flexing your birth on me because it was fucking awesome. <laughs> I was like, what? No, I, I wish. No, it was, it was actually the opposite. No, it was horrible. You just, you just vomited in your mouth from the from talking about DHMIS. Yeah, that's that's what we can take from that, essentially. That's what we can take from that. That is what we can take from that. Wow. Wow. Wow, we. What a way to just completely cut the flow of conversation, Ethan. Hey, you're trying to put this on me. <laughs> it's, it's 100% on you for going big, long period of silence. And they're going, I just did a sick burp in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Wasted. Uh, Wasted. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so uh i i <laughs> go on try and bring it back <laughs> try and try and recover nose dive no fuck it this is tangent we go off topic anyway um what do you think about the ancient egyptians i think they were pretty cool <laughs> do, do you know what ancient egyptians didn't have basking sharks boom do, 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 do. Wow. I it was, yeah, it was funny because I brought it back to the to the prompt at the beginning. Like I brought it all the way back. I'm not gonna lie, I think that this is the the quickest we've gone off topic ever. Oh what, from Baskin Sharks? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I said do you I said what do you think about fishing? And that was it. <laughs> Baskin sharks were already out of the question. <laughs> like the, it was the first line after the prompt. Do you know what? Actually, to bring it back on the topic for, for 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 nearing the end of the podcast, I actually have a funny story about basking sharks. Go on. It's not related to an actual basking shark. It's related to my sister. So my sister uh, once right is a basking shark. Is, she is a she is a basking shark. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, and I'm just gonna drop it in case we get into a fight about you inside my sister's mouth. <laughs> uh, um, but, no, it's it's good. It's a good mouth. Stop talking. <laughs> stop, stop talking. <laughs> Weirdo. Right. So she wants... Hi, Brandon's sister, if you're listening to this. Definitely not. Just isn't. Um, she <laughs> once had uh, a scar, basically, on her arm. And it looked like a bite mark. And so she's a hairdresser and she worked at a shop at the time. And so she was like, I'm going to tell everyone I got bit by a shark because she, she recently went to Cornwall. And I was like, actually, there's no... Sh-. So she basically, she told people that she got bit by a shark and they believed her. And I, was, I basically said to her, like, don't... There, no, there are no sharks in and around this area, maybe apart from basking sharks. And she was like, oh, okay, I'll just say they got, I got bit by one of those. And I was like, yeah, okay. The, a shark with no teeth at East Plankton. Go for it. They're vicious creatures. They are. They are. According to my sister, they are nasty little fuckers. So <laughs> did, that's did, what I think about the big old mouth of a basket shark. Did you not ever correct her? I did. I told her that. I that was a direct quote from me saying this is that th- doesn't make sense. But she went with it anyway. She did it anyway. And you know what? People believed her. <laughs> Because mm. believe it or not, some people just don't know the difference in sharks. They hear the word shark and they just automatically think, ah, scary pointy teeth thing. Yeah, but if someone came up to me and went, yeah, I was I was in like the Mediterranean and I got bit by like a tiger shark or something, I'd just be like, no, you fucking didn't. <laughs> like straight up, you didn't. Yeah, but that's because you you're... You you have a touch of the tism about you, so you definitely know that they're just not there. No, it's not even that. It's just I wouldn't believe someone if they came up to me and they were like... If somebody had a shark bite on their leg, and they went, oh, it was a, from a tiger shark in the Mediterranean, you'd be like, fucking liar. How dare, how dare you lie? You lie, you just accuse... <laughs> Jacques, well, yeah, it's straight away. If if I knew them, then yeah. Like if you came up to me and you're like, "Yeah, I got bit by a shark," and you show me like a scar on your leg, just be like, "No, you didn't, Brandon. You're a fucking idiot." <laughs> but what if I did? Like, what if I actually did? Then you'd look like a fucking twat. Yeah, I don't care. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, just no matter what. Like I, I come in with like loads of cuts, like like a massive like I'm coming with my arm missing, and I'm like, "Yeah, a shark bit off my arm," and you're like. No, it didn't. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> you lie, sir. You lost your arm in a sewing accident, like I knew you would. Yeah, well, realistically, you've probably got it stuck in a hydraulic press at a tool station or something. Um, <laughs> no, hydraulic. Right, I don't know what you think t- t- tool stations sell, but it's not NASA. Like, <laughs> it doesn't have masses of machinery. A hydraulic press. Okay. What? You think the layman, you think a random business fucking builder or plumber's like, hmm. Do I have two grand to drop on a, <laughs> on a hydraulic press, which I really need? I think a hydraulic press is probably a lot more than two grand. Nah, nah. I'm about to I'm about to buy one on eBay. Watch, watch hydraulic press. Hydraulic press. Who can Google faster? Shopping. I, I can. I already have prices. I have one here for only sixty eight pounds. Is that the one. range? <laughs> Yeah, well, I have one here for £92,000 from heme.co.uk. I saw what that the... as well. There's also a, there's also one for £95 from B&Q. They're a lot cheaper than I thought they'd be. Oh, yes. wait. Do you want to get a one-piece portable shape herb press for four ninety eight? What is that? It's a, just a spice hand. You crush spices in it. Which Why I does think... it need to be portable? Well, I think it's not for... You know, I think it's not for cooking spices. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. I, I'm on the same page now. Oh, yeah. One piece tea herb her press. Just looks like a handle. It's pretty cool, actually. Anyway. Anyway. We, did you just yawn? Yeah. Did you just yawn? Yeah, I'm really... Is that- is our fucking conversation that boring? I was at work today. Don't you fucking dare say you were tired. I'm really fucking tired. How dare you say that? <laughs> I, I've I've finished work uh, last week, and then I've been at what, just a permanently. Youth... Are you retired now? I wish. I've been at a, at a, a Baha'i youth conference for the past like five days, and then I've come back, and then I was running a youth day today. And I'm also packing, and then tomorrow I'm straight off to the Czech Republic to help facilitate uh, a uh, little youth summer camp sort of thing. Right, you you do a lot of youth stuff. What are the ages? Because if it's like children, like children, children, they get some cool shit. Yeah. Well, I I so the, the youth conference last week. Um, so. To to clarify, I say youth, so so I, I call them all youth conferences or, or youth camps because in the Baha'i faith there are there are specific terms for like junior youth and youth, and it's kind of complicated to uh, to describe. But essentially, uh, the youth conference that was last week is anyone from the age of fifteen to thirty. Um, actually, no, it was it was fifteen to twenty five, and then there was one for above twenty five to thirty as well, a separate one. And what's that called? Middle youth. No, no, no. That that was also a youth conference. It's just they split it in into for this one because otherwise there would have been too many people in one place. I think the I feel like m- maybe I'm going out on a limb here. I think the Baha'i faith needs another another term <laughs> for for like just there's a few more age groups from. So wait, in your faith, does it go your youth? And then you're old. That's it. There's no adulthood section. There's no middle part of the book. It's beginning, end. That's what you got. Well, the, the well, the thing is, is that youth is kind of, uh, there isn't really a strong definition. The thing is, is in the Baha'i faith, you're considered um, an adult from the age of 15, and then you can vote from the age of uh, 21. Um, That's kind of shit. If you're considered an adult from 15, yeah, you're like, like wait six years. Why? <laughs> well, well, it's it's like at the at the age of 15 is the point when in the Baha'i faith where you're effectively, you know, below the age of 15, you're kind of automatically considered a Baha'i if your parents are Baha'i. At the age of 15, you are no longer automatically considered a Baha'i and you have to de- choose whether you want to declare or not. And and it okay. is specifically, okay. it's not an it's not an automatically you after that point, you have to declare yourself a Baha'i. Um, so that's why that's considered 15 is when all the adult responsibilities in the Baha'i faith, such as fasting and these sorts of things, 
become right. uh, a binding That's thing. Um, junior youth is from the ages of 11 to 15. A11. So, yeah, A11. So not, so not E11. And no, A11. A11. What, what's A11? You ever heard of unleavened bread? No. What the fuck is unleavened bread? It's um, the bread they use on certain Jewish holidays in Israel. Uh, it has the density. Wait, of... wait, 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 wait. Have you, have you, you been to Israel? It has the density of a localized <laughs> black hole and gives you constipation. But it's because they can't use yeast because it's reasons that i don't sounds... actually know 100 percent. that's the density of a localized black hole yeah it's... so now we've just lost all of the jewish bakers that break unleavened bread sorry sorry guys <laughs> i mean i know you have to do it for like the jewish holiday but it, it's it's not good bread <laughs> i'm just gonna put it out there it's it it really constipates you um anyway so uh 11 to 15 that's those so it's a a junior youth summer camp that i'm helping facilitate or right. in the Baha'i faith it's called animating um so <laughs> okay. we're basically yeah i'm bringing it back from the dead yeah i get it yeah essentially yeah. i'm reanimating their corpses um <laughs> But yeah, so so it's uh, I think there's sixty of them for this event, um, and there was two. There was the, you, I went there when I was younger. I I went as a JY, and there were absolutely six summer camps. Like, like for the most part, it's basically just you get to go out and do fun activities, or we plan fun activities, um, like treasure hunts around the campus of this school in the Czech Republic. It's oh, cool. Called, uh, the George Townsend International School in Hluboka na Vltavu. Um Fuck off. That's the entire name. Yeah. Like, I, no, no, no. I know it I know it probably is, but just say it one more time, but say it ten times fast. Hluboka na Vltavu. No, no, no. The whole name. That was it. No, of the school of the school as well. Oh, George Townsend International School. In <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to... What? That's such a cool word. Yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, Hluboka, I think, is the... It, so there's a castle, like, literally... So George Townsend School is up on a hill. There is a castle, like, you can see it from the school that's, like, lit up at night. It's so sick. That castle is Hluboka Castle. And then I don't know what Nad Vultavu means, but... Nad, it's Hluboka Nad, which I think probably means of or something like that. And Vultavu. I wonder if it means like in like the valley of. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Um, and because I, I was looking at the trains uh, down and I have to. So I, I go from Praha to Chesky Budejevice to Hluboka Nad. I, I don't even know if you're saying those correctly. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I'm just believing you. I don't know if I'm saying them correctly. If there's anyone who's Czech, Send us a voice message on at going <laughs> <laughs> underscore on air underscore tangent. Yes. Oh, anyway, God. have you enjoyed our talk about the big old mouth of a basking shark? Oh, I have enjoyed our talk about the big old yes. mouth of a basking shark. It's, it's been a while. Um, our hope is if, if this makes editing easier, folks, we are going to, and I say this very tentatively at this point, we're going to be uploading on a schedule of every other Friday. <gasps> every other Friday? The next episode you can expect is on the... Oh, wait, no. No. This will release on the 11th which of is, August. Which is today for everyone listening. Or gone for everyone listening. Yes. If I don't release this on time, it's already gone. But probably by the time you listen to this, if it is the 11th of August, I will be in the Czech Republic. Wow. Wow. Multinational. That's what Tangent is. Yes. And I will be back on the 14th, so we will have an episode out for you guys on the 25th of August. Stop and setting deadlines. Stop doing it. Stop. <laughs> You're just gonna... It's just gonna go poorly. Anyway, anyway well, Better. this has been a conversation about the big old math of a basking shark, and we hope you've enjoyed. Um, and we'll see you next time. But until then... Until then... I'm a big man in a basking shark in a small man in a bigger basking shark. And I 
and the entire earth. Once again. Bye. <laughs> Once again, remember to send your prompts and suggestions no, to the podcast at gmail.com or on Instagram. Go on a tangent. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>